Okay, we're going to uh, unblock a group solenoid. We have a group solenoid when we're activating the button and no water's coming out. So the first thing I do is turn the power off to the coffee machine. Let all the steam out. Turn the water supply off to your coffee machine. And then we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, now I've turned off the water supply to the coffee machine. I've let all the steam out, I've got my power off, we're safe to work on. So first thing I do is take the drip tray out. You've got four screws, one, two, three, four on the front panel. I've already taken two out just to speed this process up a little bit. So a nice Phillips head screwdriver. Undo these one, two, three, four screws. And you'll see your on off switch here on the front of the, the machine. Basically, if you just pull that panel forward, that just pops off. Okay, so I've got my screws out. This panel you should be able to pull out from the bottom, like so. We've got one group solenoid here, one group solenoid here, and a coil magnet on it also. Just grab a shifting spanner and undo this exhaust pipe from the top. If you undo it from the bottom, they're plastic, they'll snap off. So you just undo in from the top. You should be able to undo it by hand. There should be a little spring washer under there. Don't lose that. Slide the coil magnet off. And this is your solenoid post here. If you get onto that with a shifter, Please make sure that your water's off and your steam is being let out of the machine. Because if you undo this when there's steam pressure behind it or water pressure behind it, it's going to explode into your face. Okay, so now I've pulled that post off of the group solenoid. You'll find inside the solenoid post there's a piston that runs up and down. Sometimes you'll find that they're jammed stuck. So you want to get him out and give this all a really good flush and make sure that everything's nice and clear in there and we're good to go again. But I also turn the water on, the water supply onto the machine just to make sure that I've got water coming out of the group head where that post normally belongs. Once I've got water running out of there, I know that there's no blockages up further deep in. Okay, so now I know that my group head is nice and clear I'm gonna, and my post is all nice and clean and that piston runs up and down nicely on the spring. It can only go in one way, you can't put it in upside down. Okay, so in one way, screw him back up in, get it nice and tight with your shifter. Uh, you're not pulling a trailer so it doesn't have to be super tight. When you put the coil magnet back in, you'll see that there's a metal side and just a plastic side. Make sure the metal side faces up. Put your big washer on, your little spring washer on and then your exhaust pipe back on and then you can turn the water supply back onto your machine turn the power back on and when you activate it you should have water coming out of the group again that's it